Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablocks review by the SS Motion. So today I'll be reviewing the set Warthog Resistance which is 285 pieces, item number 97011 and is a preview set for the new game Halo 4 coming out in September. On the packaging you can see the some of the brand new sets in the 2012 fall range including the Brute Chieftain Charge, Banshee Blitz and the UNSC Rhino. First up are the UNSC figures. We get two brand new Mark 7 Spartans. They're both exactly the same and are meant to resemble the Halo 4 Spartans. You can find these in two other sets. The red one in the Battlescape 3 and the one resembling Master Chief in the Forward Unto Dawn set coming out later this year. So they are basic with lime green colouring, with black secondary detail and a gold visor and are very nice. A complete new mould with new legs, arms, chest and helmet. And the Covenant figure we find in this set is the new Halo 4 Elite Zealot. Again this is a complete new mould with new chest, arms, legs and helmet and is very nice. There's a lot of nice detail on this. It's in a red colour with black and grey secondary colouring with purple detailing on the helmet and with the eyes. This is a very nice figure resembling the Elite Zealot in Halo 4. So again another nice new figure. Weapons included in the set include a standard black assault rifle. Now this is not in the Halo 4 design. This is the exact same as any other assault rifle we've found in this series. A standard discoloured Spartan laser, which again is the exact same, not a Halo 4 design. This can be found in things like the Covertop Drop Pod. We get a carbine, a Covenant carbine, and this is a slightly different colour to the normal ones. You can see the normal one on the right and the new one with the Elite Zealot on the left. A different colour and slightly different size. And finally we get the brand new Halo 4 Sticky Detonator Pistol and this is completely brand new, or the rocket pistol as some people call it. Now this only it, this is only in Halo 4 so this is a brand new weapon and is discoloured in a single colour black. Moving on to the vehicle included in the set we have the new Warthog. Now this is in the design of Halo 4 and I must say it is a very impressive vehicle. There's a lot of hard work and detail gone into this vehicle and I'll try to cover as much as I can. If you want to know any more about the vehicle or any comparisons between this and any of the other Warthogs please do message me and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Now the first notable difference I want to make about this Warthog is the fantastic turret. Now here we have the main basis of evolution of the turret through Halo Megablocks. We have the first turret here, very basic. Then we have the EVA's Last Stand turret and the new Halo 4 Warthog turret. Now, so many notable differences have been made to the turret, especially the ammunition clip, which is amazing. If you see on the first turret, it's basic coloured, there's no detail, there's no ammunition clip. It's a very poor indeed. This, there's a lot of articulation involved, and the clip and the different movable parts make it much more realistic. This is incredible. It has a new turret cover design here with bullet holes, sticker detail, and it has uh, the ammunition clip and a massive ammunition barrel here that's made up of three separate pieces, and just the design and feel of it is immense compared to the other different turrets made through the years of Halo Megablocks so far. Sticker detailing apart from the battle damage shown on the turret includes warning logos and different emblems here of the UNSC, loads of different detail. I was impressed by the amount of stickers that were in this set to add all the detail needed to the set. Notable differences between this and some of the original Warthogs are the fantastic new wired lighting here. As you can see, this is wired into the bottom here and it, it creates a lot more realism with the wiring. It's very nice indeed. There's a lot of side panels now, step panels here, sides here, and all over coming down here. It's much more streamlike and there's loads of the visors new and the seats are new. And the back here, which is one of my favourite bits, folds down here so you can step in. It also has four petrol canisters on the back with one attached in a different way there and there's a new in antenna there and they have the new side panel here at the front 
it's just a fantastic amount of detail that's gone into this set. There's a sticker there for the control panel on the desk of the Warthog and a steering wheel there. The Warthog follows the new colour design of Halo 4 and I must say it's one of the best vehicles I've seen. There's a lot of work gone into this, there's a lot of different colours, especially the pieces like these that are just two or three separate colours. It just shows a lot of detail, there's no stickers needed for that, it's just a lot of nice detail in this set which makes it one of my favourite vehicles Mega has made so far. Finally moving on to the piece of scenery we have in the set, we have a forerunner structure here. There's a lot of nice detail and design gone into this, all the panels fold out here for when the light array is launching or whatever you want to have it. It's great for stop motions, great for different scenery. It's re a really nice piece for on any battlescape or scene. And we also have very nice translucent, two translucent blue materials here to create the nice lighting effect of the structure as well as this really nice desert camouflage base plate here. And the final piece we get in the set is this little ordnance box. Now this is from Halo 4 again. In Halo 4 you'll be able to, when leveling up, be able to call in different ordens and in the middle of a game and get different weapons and armor. It's very nice and this is colored, this is printed, this isn't stickers so it's very nice here with the warning logos, the yellow stripes going around. It can store a Spartan laser inside and clip back into place nicely like this. And it's very nice. It can stand up on any scene and the Spartan laser clip at the back means you can push it to easily clip the Spartan laser out. So that's a very nice additional piece of scenery. So for about 30 to 40 pounds you get an awful lot of new stuff. It's a great way to promote Halo 4 and I'd strongly recommend getting this set. We get a fantastic new amount of kit. The brand new Halo 4 Warthog which I'm absolutely in love with. It's got a great amount of new stuff and is a great improvement from any other Warthog we've seen so far. We get the new Forerunner structure, which is incredible, great for any scenery, any stop motions, battlescapes, it's fantastic, and there's a lot of amount of detail. You get a new Ordnance pod, which is great for any stop motion, and, and uh, displays your Spartan laser very nicely, and you get two brand new Mark 7 Spartans, which are amazing, including the brand new Sticky Pistol weapon and the new Halo 4 Elite Zealot with a new coloured carbine. So for just that small amount of money you get an amazing amount of new kit. I would strongly recommend going out and buying this set. This was another Halo Mega Bloks review by the SS Motion. Please like, favourite and subscribe if you enjoy what you see and we'll see you next video.